So in Peru, a really like impactful moment was we're carrying these huge, heavy like wooden panels up these stairs, probably over 250 steps, straight up a mountain. And I remember carrying them and thinking like, oh my God, this is so hard. Service to others is important and the community service we do as a school is impressive and it's an outstanding experience for our boys. It's important that these things are integrated so that the boys have a deeper understanding and a deeper perspective of why it is that we do the things that we do. It's not just to get the work done, but so that they have a better understanding and perspective of their role in the world and the impact that they can make. It's kind of taught me that I want to give back while also trying to put myself in a better place. CM students want to engage with the world. I think a great example is the red bandana. Here we had a book that connected with students' lives. It's more than just a book that they read during the summer. We also had Allison Crowler come in and speak to the boys about what it was like to be the mother of Wells, this person that left this amazing legacy. We also had an opportunity to write who are your heroes on these red bandanas, which we tied to the outside of the school. Again, kind of creating this messaging that is just more than you're gonna read this book and answer these questions about it, but really see how this connects to your life and how this connects to the lives of others. In the academics, we believe in project-based learning, which we here at CM call night-based learning. So when we're doing a project in English class, we're not just thinking about, what does this tell us about the Anglo-Saxons in 700 AD? We're also thinking about, what does this tell us about today? It also means that we believe in hands-on learning. We don't want to just learn about something in the classroom through lectures and traditional methods. We really try and be innovative. One of the ways we do that in my English class is through a walking meditation. When we're learning about pilgrimages in Chaucer, we're going to go outside and go on a walk. We're going to meditate, experience what it feels like to go on that pilgrimage. When I came to CM, the classes differed from my old school in that they were more engaging, more hands-on based than they were previously. I was more familiar with more kind of lecture, lecture, lecture style, but at CM we have a more engaging curriculum. We focus on doing more science driven things as well as the humanities. It was a tight-knit community. It wasn't huge classrooms, it was small, so it was kind of family-based. I could like know all my teachers personally, all, know all my friends personally. Whether it's in the classroom, getting to know that student's personal learning style, or outside the classroom, wanting to know that student's personal story, we feel and our faculty understand that all of those things tie together to develop a meaningful relationship with our students that turns into meaningful learning experiences for them. I got to know Ms. Gutano as an English teacher and then I joined the cross country team in ninth grade and I saw a side of him where he was more competitive but I knew from English class that he really deeply cared about us and he really just wanted us to achieve our own personal best and wasn't just out there yelling at us to go faster. No, he wanted us to go faster because he knew that if we went faster, we'd be better at cross country and we'd have more fun doing it. In the same way, he pushed us to write better, to read more in English class because he knew that our reading and writing would help us in the future and help us uh, succeed. We role model for our students a well-rounded individual by celebrating all of the gifts and talents of our students, regardless of whether those victories come on the football field or on the stage or in the classroom. We believe that by celebrating this, we encourage our students to go beyond the comfort levels that they see coming into the school and challenge themselves to try new things and to try new experiences. When I came to CM, uh, one student in particular who I played soccer with my freshman year, who was an older classman, showed me that uh, it was important to do other things. Uh, he was also, uh, later he became a peer minister and you know I kind of wanted to follow in his footsteps because I saw him as a person who I thought to just be a soccer player, but really he was much more than that. The number one thing that I hear about students when I ask them, what's your favorite thing about CM? Is the sense of brotherhood and community. These boys know that we are here for them and they are there for each other. As soon as I came here, I saw um, this type of brotherhood uh, that I didn't see at any of the other schools that I was looking at. I was with Danny Sheehan carrying these. And I said, I'm not stopping unless you stop. And he said, okay. And we just kept going up, going up, going up. They must have weighed over 100 pounds. We were both dripping sweat. 
It was just like a great like experience that me and him had together, just carrying those up the stairs. Kind of had a sense of, I'm in a comfortable zone here because I know these kids, they go to the same school as me, we're brothers, this is it.